So you IK'd the legs but not the arms. Not a problem. In about 30 seconds you're gonna have both. But this time I'll show you some shortcuts. Alright, let's do this. Go to object mode. Press number pad 7 to go to a perfect top view. Click on your skeleton, go to edit mode, click the elbow and move it a tiny bit back. Extrude a bone from the elbow and extrude a bone from the hand. Name them elbowik.l and handik.l. On both bones, press Alt P to clear parent. And on both bones, make sure that deform is unchecked. And move the elbow IK away from the body. Click on the hand bone, click on the wrist, press Ctrl P and keep offset. Go to pose mode and select the wrist IK. And then shift select the forearm. And press shift I to automatically set up the IK. Now under chain length, select two. And under pull target, click armature elbow IK, and if you move the handle in a bit, you might see that the elbow is not bending correctly. If it looks backwards like mine, under pole angle, type in the numbers 180. If that doesn't work, try typing 90, negative 90, or 0. Select the hand, bone tab, bone constraint, copy location, select the target to armature, and under bone, select forearm.l, and change the head to tail number to 1. You're done. You could redo all the IKs for the right side of the body, but if you want to save time, just go to edit mode, drag select all the bones on the left side, right click, symmetrize, and now you have IKs working for both sides of the body. You might have to change the pull angle for the other arm. For example, it looks like I'll have to make mine zero since it's going backwards. But other than that, you have a completely viable working rig for your character now. I hope you found this video useful. If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Please have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.